Hello, everyone, and welcome to a TV Party Tonight Extra. I'm your host, the Mandata Reporter, and frankly, I'm mortified, Mr. Mark Rattledge. And tonight, I'm joined by the host of the Screaming Boy podcast, Mr. Ronnie Adams. Say hello to the people, Ronnie Adams. Hello to the people, Ronnie Adams. Outstanding. Ronnie and I just got finished with a uh, Screaming Boy Rattledge and Broadcasting Network exclusive where we reviewed the -the over-the-top app DC Universe. Uh, we went through the ins and outs. We looked at all the content. We uh, we talked about some of the forthcoming uh, exclusive content coming to it. We looked at some of the comic books they have uploaded. We had a fun conversation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the app, and we're going to use it to do a commentary track over one of the animated movies from its slate, this one being Superman Doomsday, which came out... November uh, of 2008, and it's based on the best-selling graphic novel of all time, The Death of Superman. Ronnie Adams, what do you think about all that? Uh, Did you read The Death of Superman? I did. I did. I read the entire thing. Um, I'm actually one of those guys that went out and bought two copies of the black bag issue of Death of Superman because I wanted one to keep and one to open. I wasn't as bad as some buying 15 of them, planning on retiring, you know, after (laughs) after selling them. (laughs) Uh, now, have you now before you got the DC Universe app? Had you ever seen Superman Doomsday before? Yes, uh, I actually watched it on Netflix uh, when it first came on Netflix. Um, and thinking back on it, I may have rented it as well uh, from uh, from Redbox. I think so, I think when it initially came out on Netflix, I tried a couple of times. And as is very typical with me, I'm pretty sure I fell asleep on it every single time. Until today. <laughs> Today's a monumental day, ladies and gentlemen. I actually made it through an entire uh, showing of Superman Doomsday in preparation for this commentary track uh, today without falling asleep. There was I, a ch- for one, am very proud of you. There was a chicken and a protein shake involved, but I made it. That's all that's important here. <laughs> You had to eat a power meal to get to a movie. <laughs> uh, me and naps are... Well, that's that's my number one love, naps. All right, so without wasting any more time here, we're going to cue this puppy up, and we're going to launch it here on the DC Universe over-the-top application. Here we go. This is Superman Doomsday 3, 2, 1, play. All right, so we got the Warner Brothers animation lined up. You know, it, it, to this day, it amazes me how much the DC animated universe really was the, a superior product in terms of filmmaking. Oh, absolutely. And that their live-action films have been such crap. i also like to point out that those two men that he was holding were completely terrified. <laughs> Put me down, you alien freak. (laughs) So we start off with narration here by Lex Luthor, which I think is what uh, Zack Snyder and company were going for in Batman v Superman with that iteration of Lex Luthor. They completely missed the point, but this, this is the quintessential Lex Luthor right here. Just, you know, recognizing that Superman is a god and wanting to tear him down from heaven. Uh, the funny, one of the, the cool things is not funny, but one of the cool things is that the the voice of Lex Luthor in this is actually James Marshers, who is famous for um, uh, being Spike on Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. And the voice of Superman, Clark Kent, in this is my favorite of the Baldwin's. Um, is uh, I was going to say Eric uh, Alec Baldwin, but it's actually Adam Baldwin, who's not related to the other Baldwin's. Uh, at all, I actually did not know that. I had no idea that the, that Adam Baldwin because I mean, Christ, Christ, he looks just like him, <laughs> right? But he's not related at all. Um, and his political uh, views on Twitter, I follow him on Twitter because I am a big. Uh, he's he's mostly known for Firefly, uh, being Jane on on Firefly. So I'm a big Firefly. Fan. I'm a brown coat for life, baby, and um, <laughs> I needed to push up my glasses on that one. Ugh, nerd, but uh, but I follow him on there, and he is a completely outspoken right wing. Uh, at sometimes I'm right wing too, 
I'll admit it. I'll admit it freely. But man, sometimes he is like nut job right wing <laughs> at times. But uh, but but I, I really do enjoy just about everything he does as far as um, acting and and he's he was actually known for uh, for Angel and uh, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer as well. So it's somewhat timely that we're looking at this movie as they actually just redid it under the name uh, The Death of Superman and it's part one of a two-part uh, series uh, follow, it'll be next year I think is the second part The Reign of the Superman yeah. that's uh, Steel uh, Eradicator I think Vindicator is that the robot Superman uh, and Superboy right uh, which Eradicator was my favorite out of all of them and, they're, and in that iteration they're using the uh, New Fifty Two version of Superman, at least from the from the animated movies, you know, yeah. Throne of Atlantis and whatnot. So <clears throat> I don't know if Anne Hesh is still doing things out there, but I this I feel like two thousand eight Anne Hesh was still hot. She, she was still yeah. uh, still a thing. I mean, and, are and you she, talking like physically hot or no? I mean, like she was getting actor? act she was getting acting <laughs> gigs. Uh, now Anne Hesh doesn't really do it for me. Um, you know, Debbie Ryan, on the other hand, Arr. but uh, <laughs> I just the whole time I was watching this, I I, I kept thinking, you know, I, I normally I, I try to just focus on the animated character and not the actor or actress uh, giving lending the voice, but I just thought like, huh, Anne Hayes did a real did a especially like this scene here where. Uh, you know, it's typical Lois pitching a story and it getting shot down because she doesn't have what they call, you know, evidence. Um, and Perry White's like, yeah, I don't want to be sued for libel. And I'm like, wow, Anne Hayes did a really great job of portraying Lois Lane as a complete shrew. <laughs> Good job, Anne Hayes. <laughs> Way to make Lois Lane completely unlikable. Can't figure out why he's staring at a picture of uh, Aunt May. <laughs> So in this uh, iteration of uh, of Lois and Clark, she does not know, or at least has not been verified, that Clark Kent and Superman are the same guy. Damn glasses hide his identity, you know what I mean? He also looks about 900 years old with the lines on his face. <laughs> so, uh, you know what animation style this is? This is right out of Superman the Animated Series. Oh yeah, absolutely. Did you watch that? Yeah, I did. I uh, I didn't. I watched. I've watched both Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, which was the same animation style. I watched yeah. Batman the animated series. I've never really been a huge fan of Superman, so I didn't watch Superman the animated series. I didn't much care for it. That's understandable. Uh, I mean, there's no real in between with Superman. You either really you know you love him or you hate him. But. Uh... But every every superhero is very V shaped. They have very broad shoulders. Yes, everyone. Animation style. Everyone is made of triangles. Yes. <laughs> so we have LexCorp people here who are grumbling, S- sweating <laughs> profusely. <laughs> yes, they're digging for ore that can be mined into uh, sustainable energy. Is and they about Satan's crack. <laughs> I don't know. But here's my first major problem with this movie, right? They're going to uncover like Doomsday's tomb. Why was Doomsday's tomb on Earth? That's a really good question. Um he was floating around in space forever and then just tumbled to Earth after a while. Um Earth but has I think the, they just Earth has the strongest gravitational pull in the universe. Apparently. Every, everything goes there. <laughs> I, I've always wondered that about you know superheroes. Like they shot they shot baby Superman, uh, baby Kal El into space, and they, he ended up on Earth. Um, Green Lantern has to protect Earth. That just happened to be his sector. You know um, why? I mean, I, I understand why it would make a terrible comic book if or or, or a movie or anything else if, if you know we weren't involved in it. But it just seems like every bit of trouble in the in the known multiverses uh, just happens to be you know centered around Earth. 
does they either hate us or or want you know what we have here. It, it does make Marvin the Martian's point much more uh, sympathetic, doesn't it? That you know mm-hmm. he always wants to blow up the Earth because it's blocking his view of Venus, and I'm saying yeah. you know. <laughs> Ninety eight percent of the ninety eight percent of the universe's problems would be solved if you just blew up the Earth. We, we don't do anything. We're not. I mean, we're, I mean, Earth is horrible people. But. So, what is the name of this robot? That's uh, nurse mating, nurse nurse mating, um, Superman. Superman's nurse maid. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know. He, he doesn't have a name like Sparky or something. I don't know. Does he? We'll have to wait and see if he addresses him. At least the hero of this thing. Oh yeah. Why are when, you running around naked, Lois? <laughs> she. Well, it's a. It's a. Uh, the the fortress of the South is a long way from Metropolis. She probably you know smells vinegary. <laughs> oh God! What <laughs> the heck, man? <laughs> she needs a shower. Come on, don't, don't you get off a plane and be like, oh, I need to piss in a shower. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and I'm sure you've flown a lot places a lot closer than the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, I flew to the other side of the continent one, I mean, the continent, the other side of the country one time and smelled like a, a train wreck. See? So stop picking on Lois Lane for needing a shower. I'm not picking on Lois Lane for needing a shower. I'm just saying she's running around on a towel with nothing else. Yeah, she's in her boyfriend's apartment that happens to be a ice sculpture in the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> so we are still digging here, and we have this bl- blonde character who will later on be shot in the head. Spoilers. Um, Come on, Mark. Sorry, I don't know. Are we not allowed to do spoilers in the commentary for a 10-year-old what? movie? What? <laughs> What if somebody is watching, of the, you know, listening to this along, watching it, and never seen it before? Oh, <laughs> Superman lives. Just let me throw that out there. Wow, they really are sweaty. Ugh. Yeah, they're pretty disgusting. <laughs> All right, so this alien comes out and speaks in an alien language, according to my, <laughs> according to. It says alien language. Thanks. <laughs> And says, you know, and says something unintelligible. Lex Luthor de- determines that it's some sort of a uh, a warning, and then you know, the, the out comes Doomsday. And eats everybody apparently. So here's my second problem with this. So like Doomsday, they they, they we're gonna find out later is essentially a super soldier. He's Captain America with Legion of Doom pads, and um, <laughs> not not. Not the DC Legion of Doom. We're talking uh, <laughs> of the Road Warriors. Ro- yes. So, so this Road Warrior Hawk, Road Warrior Animal, Road Warrior Doomsday. Doomsday. Man, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> someone, some, somewhere out there, someone's pitching this to Vince McMahon as a new, as a new Road Warriors. I just saw on in closed caption where it says "bones cracking." That's a little. That's a little. Yeah, he, like, kills people by, like, squeezing their head. But here, here's what they're going to say about Doomsday later on in the film, right? They'll be like, oh, he, he's the ultimate weapon. He's a super soldier. But the yeah. problem was he couldn't decipher, you know, who, who were the targets and who were the civilians, essentially, who were the good guys, who were the bad guys. So they decided to lock him up and, and I guess, to send him into space. And, of course, he crashes on Earth because everything crashes on Earth. Uh, right. that, that's fine. Like you do. Right. But here's my problem. Wouldn't I don't understand why they needed like it seems like what they figured out about Doomsday was that he would have killed everybody on the planet one by one. That mm-hmm. seems very ineffective. Well, I don't know about ineffective. Like he just killed the deer, right? Yeah. Because he has to kill well, every right living on thing on on the planet. There's a that's lot like of common. living things on the planet. Thanos's method is much easier. Well. Doomsday wasn't, you know, lucky enough to get the Infinity Gauntlet to cross over to. <laughs> Could you imagine the DC though? Universe. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Someone write that movie: Doomsday versus Thanos. Infinity I don't in know a if cell. Win. <laughs> you 
mean, like, I'm a, I'm a Thanos fanboy, but man. I'll tell you who wouldn't win the Marvel Universe iteration of the Hulk. You know, are you talking about the Marvel Cinematic Hulk? Yeah, the Marvel. Yeah, who loses every fight? Does it lose every fight? He beat the Abomination, and let's see. He. Uh, hmm. I do have to realize. I do have to say something though. I really enjoyed uh, Superman's uh, uh, Hugh Hefner smoking jacket. In that <laughs> yes, his his red robe. <laughs> yeah, biscuit, biscuit the dog. This, I hate it when they kill dogs and things. Yeah, God, can you imagine that? Can you imagine old man Doomsday walking up behind you? <laughs> oh, wow. That was a heck of a shotgun that man had, though. I mean, I don't know what he was firing out of that. Did you watch Krypton, the the TV series? I did not. I need to, though. Uh, we did a TV party on it. You can check that out I know. if you want. Uh, well, apparently Doomsday is going to be a big part of season two. Yeah. Well, if, are you familiar with the actual comic book? Uh, iter- I mean, like background of Doomsday. No, I like I said, I I'm going off of what this movie says is his background, but uh, I've heard a couple of different things about Doomsday. Uh, you know, of course, you have the DC Cinematic Universe version, which is he's made up of Lex Luthor and Zod. Um, mm-hmm. So who knows? You know, so t- what what is the actual history of he Doomsday? Was created to be the perfect weapon, right? Um, so he was created in paint. Look at him; he looks he looks ancient. What is wrong with this? <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, he was created to be a perfect weapon, and every time he was created, he was created in paint. So, um, and he was created when he was found in, in not effective. He was destroyed and recreated. And every time he was created, he was created with the same with the memories of pain and anguish and and lo- you know loss and death. So those zips kept like. You know, they kept piling on top of each other. It looked like a, um, it look, looked like a, a a pole in New York with all these, you know, all the the flyers on it. Uh, just layer after layer after layer after layer of pain and anguish and hate and and everything else. And that's how he became how he, you know the uh, walking weapon that he is. You know, filled with rage and hatred and and anguish. So. Um, he also likes puppies and daisies. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> and does not have anything for the working class of, of the United States. That <laughs> truck driver had no chance. <laughs> yeah, it, it was very random too. It's just like like you, <laughs> the poor truck driver did nothing to Doomsday. Met right? nothing in the story, and Doomsday is just like you're in the way. You have to die. F your truck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. F your truck. So, um, well, I guess we'll get to it when it, when it actually happens. But uh, having watched the movie, is the the way that Superman deals with Doomsday the same way he deals with them in the comic? Um, uh, just beating him senseless. Well, he does something very specific. You know I, what, I'll be honest with you, I cannot remember, so okay. I will wait. So so Superman and Lois are kind of having an argument at this point, or at least they were, uh, because yeah. because he won't admit... Cause she's basically figured out that he's Clark, but he won't admit that to her. And like his yeah. whole thing is like, well, if I tell you who I am, then that puts you in danger. She's like, I already know who the fuck you are, asshole. <laughs> This turned into a completely different movie at that point. <laughs> and you know, and he's like, "No, you don't. My glasses hide who you know. <laughs> my glasses completely hide who I am." I I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, man. I I have to wear glasses to drive because I'm nearsighted, but I don't really don't yeah. need them outside of that. My vision's not that bad, but I got to be able to see you know far away when I'm driving. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, I put my glasses on. My kids don't even recognize me. I have no clue who you are when you have your glasses on. That's right. It's it's crazy. I don't understand. So, the army is now trying to fight Doomsday. <laughs> right. And, and Superman was in his um, his ice grotto. <laughs> and, 
and oh, wearing his smoking jacket. <laughs> dude, he just squeezed that guy's head like an orange. I, I know. That <laughs> he, dude is getting down on that 50 cal. He is just lighting him up. Mm-hmm. You would think, like, first of all, by the end of this movie, between Doomsday and the alt Superman, and then you know, regular Superman, how much property they do? Like, people made a big deal about how much property got destroyed in Man of Steel, and at least at that point they were trying to terraform the planet, so it like made sense, which I don't think people yeah. recognize. They did, they really fucked Metropolis up in this movie, and like they, oh, yeah. and like nobody complains. Well, I guess they look at it as animated, so you can just draw more. <laughs> but <laughs> like Bugs Bunny, you know, just just drawing more Metropolis. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We've got this this you know black hole that you can pull things out of. We'll just pull a new Metropolis out of it. Yep. So Superman's going to use his freeze breath here on Doomsday. See, th- this movie is perfect for commentary because at least a third of it is fighting. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, there's not a lot of detail and dialogue happening. And the other two-thirds, smoking jacket. <laughs> oh, lovey. <laughs> when he triggered the, the, the howls on Gilligan's <laughs> Island. So here we go. Oh, Doomsday dude. versus There's Superman round one. Out. You know what would have made this a little bit better? Is it had there been like narrate like narration from Superman while this was happening? <laughs> it was and when he hit where I... <laughs> When I got hit in the ch- when I got hit in the chin is when I knew things were really not going my way. <laughs> like a wonder years kind of thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> when he started to pound my head into the train, that's when I knew. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad day. I have a question. Yes. In the first five minutes of this fight, when Superman realizes that Doomsday is more than a match for him, and that they are destroying city blocks because of the you know the waves of impact, and you know, and, and Doomsday, and, and nothing is happening other than they're just laying waste to Metropolis block by block. Why didn't Superman at that point fly him into the sun? Right? I mean... uh, Oh, he just gave him the fucking razor's edge. (laughs) He did. He powerbombed the crap out of him. (laughs) Punted him across... I mean, the the street of Metropolis is now (laughs) rubbing. Look at that. Look at it. It's like a jackhammer. It would have been awesome if he'd spit out a tooth at that point. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just... Just stomping on him. Oh stomping a mud hole and walking it dry. Ah! <laughs> Fuck that was, your that was camera. A, that was a legitimate reaction for me. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot about that. I part. wish Doomsday would talk, but he talked with like, like Vincent Price. and was like, good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> starts, oh doing, my God. starts doing the fucking over, the narration from Thriller. <laughs> Uh, I, okay, how how did oh what he kicked Doomsday's hand which is the equivalent of titanium oh yeah you, you kind of need that to land Superman yeah they, well they're not, he's not really worried about it right now so, look at that fuck it they just destroyed it. an entire building and all the people in it <laughs> <laughs> Superman's like screw you guys. I gotta say about Lady Love. I mean, fucking two buildings went down in uh, in New York. We declared war on an entire country. Superman's knocking every building down in New York. People are like, oh, let's build this fucker a monument. Right. He's brushing off bits of, you know... B- building. Building and people off of him. <laughs> every, well, it's at night. Everyone went home. Oh, okay. Nobody works at night, Ronnie, in Metropolis. Everything shuts down at seven. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's very small. It's a very small town. That's why they named it Metropolis. <laughs> Oof. You know, I mean, this is kind of violent for kids, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> Throw you by your jaw. Again, <laughs> fucking takes out another building. Right? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. like, God damn it. <laughs> I just washed those windows. And now we're going to have a power outage. I mean, Superman... Superman, I'm all about Superman property man, damage, man. he does not care. Oh, no. I mean, uh, wow. Just run it. <laughs> I got the ball. I'm going to get a touchdown. <laughs> Spike. I saw that scene in ba- Batman, the 60s Batman, where he was running the, ba- the Batman movie where he's running away with the bomb. Right. <laughs> Some days you just can't like, get rid of a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> runs into the group of nuns. <laughs> Nope, can't go that way. <laughs> I think it's like nun, school children, ducks, and then he then he pans to the camera. Dude, yeah. my my favorite bit of this whole fight's coming up right now. What Doomsday does to Superman, it's great. Ah! <laughs> Here comes the train. <laughs> I'm killing everybody on this train. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> nope. Well, here we go. <laughs> Just. I mean. <laughs> Ouch! My ear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here we uh, have our allusion to super, to Superman two, where they're like fighting beneath the street. That was a cool scene, even though that was a dumpster fire of a movie. Oh fuck you! Superman two is the best. Actually, it's it's not... good, but I mean, there's there's the Donner cut. The the, the you're right. Superman three is much better. You shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, the Philly Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Both keys <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I love Superman three. It's so good. I know. I have no clue why. Because <laughs> Richard Pryor, dr- drunk, evil, bizarro Superman. <laughs> so, oh, Chris- headbutt! Christopher Reeve eating dog food for no good reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> that entire drunk scene. That was that was incredible. And there's Aunt, Aunt May, May watching at home. <laughs> Has no clue why she's in this movie. <laughs> they wasted I mean, no money. A... They wasted no money animating her scenes. Right. That's... There was no concern on Ma Kent's face whatsoever. It well, it's like she doesn't move, blink, breathe. It's literally like a like a flat matte painting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the blood. One, two, three. Book. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. It is money, your eye, Lois. Oh, oh, oh. That was a lot of. <laughs> now I'm mad. You made me bleed my own blood. <laughs> Small child. <laughs> yeah, I like how Must Doomsday destroy. has. Enti- I like how Doomsday also has attention deficit disorder. Right. Like, I'm my, clearly the most dangerous person on this planet is Superman, but let me take a minute to go kill this little girl who's crying. <laughs> and that's what makes Superman decide that maybe we should take this battle into space. Uh, you may have destroyed half of Metropolis and the people in it, but you'll not hurt that little girl. <laughs> All this right. is like, okay, I thought he was, you know, when I first watched this, I thought this would be the best German suplex ever. <laughs> from space but then he you know rides him down into the you know gosh I don't think I don't think a body's supposed to bend like that well he's like burning up in the atmosphere yeah it's a smart idea except that you just essentially fucking (laughs) you went off with the atom bomb I was like you just went all deep impact (laughs) so so the waters will recede. Congratulations, Superman. You defeated Doomsday. Look at the jaw. <laughs> That's terrible. That's like straight out of the ring. <laughs> It'd be funny if he just moved his jaw back into place and got up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's uh, the iconic. Keep on stick. Do you notice that during that entire scene there was no dialogue? Yep. <laughs> so Superman, how do you feel? <laughs> smoke, yeah. smoke if you got him. <laughs> and down goes Fraser. Is everyone dead? Yes, yeah, Superman. Thanks. <laughs> Did I save Metropolis? No, you leveled it. 
<laughs> they would have been. We all left. have to move now. There's no rebuilding this. <laughs> you may have saved the people, but you destroyed the city with your atomic your atomic bomb attack. <laughs> so that's how he ends Doomsday, uh, which is not how he ended Doomsday in the comic books. How did he end the comic book? Uh, a double axe handle to the chin, breaking his neck. So Seems a little they, underwhelming. Well, actually, um, this whole fight was a little much with how much they did. In in the books, they took it up. They started at regular. Oh, there goes there she goes. Um, <laughs> and they spent a little money on animation. And down goes Fraser again. Yeah. Nice to know LexCore Tower survived. Yes. Every other building got fucking knocked over, but his building still stands. Uh, they took it up a notch. They kept, find, you know, they kept, they were equal through the whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, when it came down to it, Superman knew that, he, you know, Superman doesn't kill. So he knew he was going to have to just, you know, take him out to make him stop. So they both went for that final blow and Doomsday did, you know, came across with a, with a right, you know, right cross. And he came at the same time with a, you know, both fists and they just, he broke Doomsday's neck, I guess is how it went. And he, you know, beat Superman to death. I mean, he, just like in this, but he wailed on him. Uh, but there was a lot more, blood in the comic books. I mean, because he cut him with his bony, you know... <laughs> with his road his, warrior pads? Yeah. It, it came out of his, you know, knees and elbows, too. Jimmy Olsen has lost his way. He's going to give up being a uh, photographer for the Daily whatever planet. And then now he's gonna, and now he's going to go work for uh, the National Enquirer. <laughs> it kind of looked like Perry White was moving on on Superman's girl at the end there. He's like, "Oh, come here, Lois." And he pushes her head down. No, oh my God! <laughs> come on, Lois. Come get in the car with me. I, I, I know what ails you. It'll <laughs> make you feel better. And nice, there. nice name drop. And everybody thinks Superman is dead. <laughs> JFK ain't got nothing on Superman. It would have funny if this would have been the end of the movie. <laughs> like, all right. Well, that was the death of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 30-minute movie. <laughs> that was the death of Superman. Good luck, everybody. There was a lot more Justice League in the comic books, too. I mean, like, they even went down to uh, oh, Bloodwind and a bunch of people... You know, Booster Gold. Booster Gold got his butt handed to him <laughs> in that book. So it's a lot more like the, like the Death of Superman uh, anime yes. movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like Green Lantern and the Flash and Wonder Woman can't take down Doomsday. Batman's going, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> right. He's just jumping from building to building, throwing <laughs> batarangs. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, Batman's just like, Hey, you guys! You guys focus on Doomsday. I'll make sure the Joker doesn't get involved. <laughs> Yoink! And he just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> he puts on his bat mustache. <laughs> puts on glasses. Hey, where did Batman go? <laughs> Who is this Batman you speak of? <laughs> Ma oh. Kent's about to give Lois the evil. This made me cry. Actually, the first time I watched this, like all the way through. And Lois start, and I, I, I give Anne Hayes a little bit of shit, but she did she does a really good job in this scene, uh, yeah. with this performance. And when she starts talking about like nobody will understand, you know, what this guy meant to me and all this other stuff. I'll see if I can pick up pick it up here. Um, but I, I act, this actually moved me. I got I got very teary eyed. Yeah, this right right here. Maybe it's just. I don't know if he told you, but we had been seeing each other for the past few months romantically. And I know the rest of the world adored him. <laughs> this <thank> fucking. <laughs> but no one else on this whole stupid planet can know what it felt like to really love him. Yeah, that's when I lost it. Mm. This was very sad. So this is the heart of the movie right here.
I'm the one the freaking monster pounded on. We had to make it about you, Lewis. Yeah. Get off my porch. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lois looks up. She's got a like, face full of shotgun. <laughs> she pulls her hands down. She's got a gun left. left. <laughs> I said, get off my porch, you hussy. <laughs> Don't tell me about where my son stuck his baloney pony. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> They cut, they cut funding when the Superman's around. Like y'all have jobs, he'll take care of it. <laughs> we we really don't need all these police officers solving you know non-existent crimes. And now, <laughs> now the criminals are gone crazy. Like we don't have <laughs> enough cops. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> hey, it feels like this is police academy. Hey, free <laughs> TVs. <laughs> And poor Jimmy Olsen has lost his way. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. You know, I have to give this uh, cre- this movie credit. They change Lo- Lois' outfits a lot. They really do. Oh. He's on he's the sauce. It up. He's, he's tipping one back. The loss of Superman affected the baby monumentally I mean Lois is devastated because she lost her you know true love Perry is an alcoholic now so could they have made Lois's waist any tight any smaller like she literally uh, looks like an hourglass she looks like a Barbie doll mm. Lois oh. is m- Lois is more in proportion you ever, have you ever seen the studies where, like, if you really built a woman the way Bobby was built, she'd tip over? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she would have severe back problems. Yeah. Like, her waist can't support her chest. <laughs> Meaning <laughs> she would snap in half back <laughs> problems. Uh, this is great coming up next. Did you, cl- did you do everything I asked? Yeah? Did you clean everything up? Yeah? Great. Bang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love this speech by Lex Luthor about how he's talking about like, you know, like I got you. <laughs> First of all, he ref- he refers to Doomsday as an intergalactic soccer hooligan. Right. No. Oh! Boom. Fang nine automatic. Why would you do that? <laughs> got to clean up the mess. Make sure there is nobody that can talk. Yeah. I, I, what is what? I was just trying to figure out what rifles that. The uh, Met- Metropolis Police Department. What has happened? Something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> Buses don't belong on buildings. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Toy Man. <laughs> Toy Man. Yep, if you need to kill a Superman villain, he's a good one to kill. <laughs> so true. Gosh, they made him so different. <laughs> she just goes and pushes the butts. <laughs> Told you. Lois Lane has delusions of grandeur. Yeah, what's she going to do against a giant mechanical ant? She's going to kick it with her high heel. <laughs> I think all the kids are looking at her like, we're not getting off this fucking bus, lady. <laughs> We're scared. No, it's not, lady. There's a <laughs> giant ant out there. <laughs> we are all shitting our pants. Now I am. That's terrifying. <laughs> she just fucking hits it with a book bag. <laughs> oh. Mm. No. <laughs> Come on, kids. I've got candy. <laughs> <laughs> you killed a baby, lady. <laughs> I'm not going with you. <laughs> oh! Oh, my God. Typical horror monster. It's never really dead. Yep. Oh, man, you are creepy. You are a sexual predator. My, <laughs> my play dates. Oh. Who did his voice? He sounds so familiar. 
Lois has to be the luckiest woman alive. Well, yeah. Oh, Susie Kurtz did Martha Kent. Oh. Ray Wise was Perry White. It's good. And the, yeah. and the Undertaker just bursted out of his grave. <laughs> Oh, Kevin Smith was in this. I forgot about that. Yeah, he has like one line. One, yeah. And down goes John the bus. DiMaggio. And as usual, she's saved by Superman. But is it really Superman? Well, that's the mystery, isn't it? Dun, 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 dun. We buried you. <laughs> You don't even have any dirt on you. I mean, you're, that's impressive. Mm. Toy Man's like, I'm not even mad that you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> that scream, man. You know, at that velocity, he 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 just fucking killed him trying to get him out of the machine. <laughs> That's Kevin Smith right there. That, yeah. That even sounded... I mean, they even looked like him, I mean. Yep. It'd be awesome if he just chucked him up in the atmosphere right there. Uh, oh, wait till yeah. later. <laughs> yeah. Thought you were going to uh, arrest him? Nope. <laughs> Super Punisher. That is That was some... Class A animation right there. <laughs> Yeah, look at the jaw on Superman. <laughs> he can knock down buildings with that. He's got this like crazy underbite going. With the, that chin, man. <laughs> it looks like fucking China. <laughs> I love you, Triple H. I want to be a diva. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine the kids they would have had? Oh, their nose and their chin would have been knocking people over. <laughs> and here's the porno scene they cut from the movie. <laughs> like, aren't you glad to see me? Aren't you glad to see me, Superman? Not so much, because he's a clone. Dun, 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 dun. Huh. He flies back down. Uh, when they cloned me, they forgot down there. <laughs> and it flies away again. <laughs> I have no sexual agenda at all. I'm like a Ken doll. <laughs> in that area. Lex Luthor didn't see a point. <laughs> what do you... No... Oh. Well, where's my smoking jacket? <laughs> uh, yes, this is a great scene coming up. This yeah. is again like the, when they were when they were trying to figure out like what to do next after Man of Steel. You know, when Age of Ultron had just come out and everything. Um, they really they should have mined this for stuff to do with Lex Luthor. Absolutely. I actually, even if they. Go ahead. Actually, I wouldn't have even minded it if they had just done a straight Man of Steel two, and use yeah. this as the, um, and use this as the uh, inspiration. Man, they lost out on. They lost out on on just a gold mine with uh, what what you doing, Lex? <laughs> Why are you taking off your pants, Lex? <laughs> Lex, I'm not comfortable with... Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah! Get him, Lex! <laughs> Why did you leave me? Oh, no. Where is this going? Uh, but they missed a gold mine with not casting Brian Cranston as uh, Lex Luthor. Yeah. They missed a gold mine with a lot of things. You know, like well, killing yeah. Superman before anyone had a chance to miss him. Yeah. <laughs> Ground and pound, ground and pound. <laughs> they needed. Oh no! They needed to finish this off with him licking Superman. 
Why are you asking who his daddy was? <laughs> They did, they did a good job in this movie of, of showing Lex Luthor's like obsession with Superman. Oh, it's completely psychotic, yeah. Oh. Does he got a towel on his shoulder? Or did he throw it out while beating Superman? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, here's what's happened. So Lex Luthor grave robbed <laughs> Superman's uh, <laughs> memorial, DNA. yeah, and then uh, took his DNA and cloned him, but reprogrammed him so that he would listen to Lex Luthor. But that's going to go badly. I does every supervillain like perform soliloquies, <laughs> <laughs> monologuing out loud? Yeah, who are you talking to? This Superman is obviously unconscious. Yeah, he's and not listening. No, nobody's listening to you, Legs. That's but a tell. But, you know, as they said in The Great Muppet Caper, it's plot exposition. It has to go somewhere. That's that's very true. T- typing, typing, typing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what you staring at? <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh. Ma Kent's a little uh little worried here. She's like, Hey wait a minute, Superman showed back up, but Clark hasn't. That's a problem. That's a paddling. <laughs> Do you see him? Not as much as I'd like. <laughs> 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 I forget what happens in the scene. Howdy. Oh, this is where um, where Lois goes to recruit uh, Jimmy, who's wearing like a yeah. silk suit or whatever. It, why is he all Don Johnson out? Because it's 2008, man. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> right, 2008, not 1984. <laughs> All he needs to do is roll those sleeves up. <laughs> It'd be funny if he like lifted up his collar and went, "Hey, <laughs> ch 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 changes. How about the big S? Anyway, Jimmy Olsen's trying to be all cool with it. He's like, hmm. I'm not going to say his name. Superman, whatevs. I'm on to bigger and better things now. <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm on to looking like Don Johnson from 1988. <laughs> Superman, Why does Superman, Superman look like a cherub. <laughs> Superman and Lex Luthor. My eyes are bugging Burr. out of his head. Yeah. yeah. My son started oh. whining before, and so I started doing, you know, I started making fun of him. I was like, Rrr! at which point we started referring to him as Scooby Doo. Nice. Yep. I don't know what my dog is into over there, but I have to make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, somebody stole Superman. Oh, no. Send dumb, somebody done Blair Witch the video. <laughs> No, you didn't. Hmm. And there we see the Lost in Space robot with Superman now. <laughs> so he never really died. He's got a, he's got tiny legs. He he missed out on leg day. <laughs> so Superman never really died. So now we're gonna see Bizarro Evil Superman come out. Where you know where he's like justify you know this 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 is injustice Superman right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great with what he does. <laughs> so Toy Man got out of jail. He took yeah. He, he took hostages. And he says. <laughs> so I missed this before when exactly. I was. I missed that detail before when I was watching this. I didn't yeah. realize Toyman had killed somebody. Like, like what that's, spawned him doing this? 
but that's exactly like the real. Oh, you got a mullet. <laughs> um, He's got a it's mustache. Like the real media man. They're like they make it. You know, they take a tragedy and make it more tragic. Mm-hmm. Superman has a loincloth underneath his mustache. <laughs> or a mustache underneath his loincloth would make a little there bit more sense. There we go. <laughs> He's got a mustache. So, Superman wasn't dead. He uh, he slowed his heartbeat down to like one beat every 30 days or some crazy thing. 17 oh. days. And My so chest he had... has broadened. <laughs> While you were dead, <laughs> you grew exponentially, but only in the chest. You have Barbie proportions now. <laughs> Your legs are now toothpicks. <laughs> Gosh, he even looks like a kid toucher. <laughs> Why would they draw him like that? Ugh, mm. gross. <sighs> Wee. <laughs> Top floor. Are you, are you going to stop him? <laughs> and Superman dispenses his own justice. No! Ah! <laughs> it's a hell of a way to go, man. I Just know. fucking dropped. Oh, God. <laughs> and dead. I, for, I forgot about that part, too, where he, <laughs> they actually showed the impact. <laughs> now, if they really wanted real life, he should have burst. Like yeah. Yeah, that cop car would have been just guts all guts all over. Because he pretty much dropped him from the atmosphere. <laughs> he did what? <laughs> How dare you? Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. The blood I... came later. Jimmy, what are you doing? Taking pictures. Lois is convinced that's not really Superman. Superman, well, yeah. <laughs> Superman's not dropping motherfuckers from the fucking <laughs> sky. <laughs> what made you do it? Toy Man's a fucker. <laughs> and Ma Cat never. <laughs> Ma Cat never gets out of that chair. She's like the emperor. Right. <laughs> she doesn't blink. I'm pretty sure Ma Kent was, like, clinically dead in that scene. <laughs> Ma Kent's catatonic. Had Lo- had Lois not said the right... Dude, I honestly... I didn't... I, I remember watching this before, and I didn't know what was going to happen here. I'm like, he's going to kill that fucking cat. <laughs> You're right. That's where that I'm cat, going. That cat's neck is getting, his, his, is getting it snapped. Don't worry about your cat anymore, lady. <laughs> He's, he is going to pet that cat way too hard. <laughs> Love him and pet him and name him George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> this woman's like, you're crazy, <laughs> Superman. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> so in other words, keep keep... Take care of your cat, or I'm come back to burn your face off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will murder you and everyone in your apartment. I ain't got time for you. For your bullshit. Why are they pulling guns on Superman and put, trying to put him in handcuffs? Ah, I explode your guns. <laughs> You guys have fucking launched and like oh, and that's what's coming up next is that like they're gonna try fucking taking him out with tanks and shit. It's like you couldn't take out Doomsday. Superman died allegedly trying to take out Doomsday. Stop wasting your time with tanks, right? And he's being nursed back to health by the lost in space robot. What? Why? Why does he? What is he wearing? A uh, bathing suit. Is he, but, bathing suit. Well, he. I mean, they can't draw him with his with like his dick out while he's trying to get like his sun rays. Uh, that's back. not. I don't want his. I don't want that. <laughs> pants would be good. Why? He doesn't need pants right now. He's at home. I'm not. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at eleven. 
I, I would rather not have a film for that. <laughs> Don't watch at eleven then. <laughs> I t- I'll put you in this world, Superman. I can take you out. <laughs> oh, yeah? Super- <laughs> Superman's like, I don't like interracial dating. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Superman needed to walk into a bar. It was odd that that couple walked around the corner and he just well at least he's against littering (laughs) he may be for homicide (laughs) littering is a no no apparently Superman needs a mani petty right oh that's right I remember the scene now I forgot like why he walked in there Uh, there it is. Kryptonite in his head. Lead. He's about to perform brain surgery on himself. <laughs> With one eye closed. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no blood, by the way. Right. We well, caught her as the wound. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you just jabbing yourself in your wound? <laughs> And there's not, like not even a hole in his head. <laughs> he just uh, fucking did his impression of that one scene in Terminator where he's looking in the mirror and you know, and they have to right. use like puppets to do the special effects. <laughs> uh, Lois is going to use her. How feminine... do you think she got that security? <laughs> Lois is going to use her feminine charms to get what she needs to out of Lex Luthor. Hashtag Me Too. hand up in there and started moving it around. <laughs> hey, evil man, tell me your evil plot. Yeah, how did you do it? <laughs> well, my pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Hand yeah. on the leg. Uh, 20 yeah. minutes 20 minutes later after the sex he finally tells her what's going on that's how this goes in the porno can't say that I've seen that can't say I will either boom ew <laughs> I think I'm a little behind but uh, on my version of this Lex just got stuck in the neck yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Maybe that's the <laughs> He fucking Ugh. spits out afterwards. Oh, Lex, you're so terrible, I can't even stand the thought of kissing you. I don't I mean, that would be just horrible. If you kiss a girl and then she, well, one, she poisons you. <laughs> <laughs> then she hacks your computer. You know? And, and but the spitting out after the kiss is what really does it for me. <laughs> you know, hack my computer... Stick a syringe in my neck. Just don't kiss it. Just she, don't spit my kisses out. She has to have been there for an hour at this point, trying to find all that stuff. What if she hit him with a horse tranquilizer? Well, I mean, what else would you poison somebody or you know roofie <laughs> somebody with? See, there is no. Re- is he is he wrestling? <laughs> He's at home. He's trying to get. <laughs> He's trying to get healthy. What you These want? are my house pants. <laughs> uh, we wear what short was, shorts. What if it was a thong? <laughs> <laughs> Super thong. Turn, you know, turned around. It was just all butt cheek. And here's this version of both keys at the same time. Right. <laughs> or weekend at Bernie's. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> just threw his ass on the floor. <laughs> so I love this next scene coming up. 
They discovered the horrible secret that Lex Luthor's been, you know, got just an army of Superman clones at various stages of growth. So, there's a morality question in this. What do you do with them? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about to see that, like, evil Superman's right. going to go, like, full-on murder everything. Why? That's a lot of Superman. <laughs> Jesus, it's like the Matrix. <laughs> drug this, drug me, will you? I mean, on one side of them, you got these brain-slash-fetus things. On the other side, you've got a bunch of naked dudes. <laughs> it's every woman's dream. Fetuses and naked men. <laughs> Something tells me you're wrong on that. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Superman's about to go full-on murder for murder mode. <laughs> and uh, his Nintendo pad isn't working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I use oh. this to turn my NES on. Hold on, that's my Wii remote. Give me a second. <laughs> Eel oh. soup. Yep, here we go. Not on <laughs> my watch. Like he starts with just one. Now, yeah, <laughs> he's just like that's it. I'm gonna flood this entire place. This is just Superman guts everywhere. Yeah. I like how there was, like, conveniently placed glass over his butt. <laughs> <laughs> how are Jimmy oh. and Lois not, like, drowning in whatever gook that is? In, uh, I don't know what that would be called. Like, it looks like a foam. What a mess he's made. Oh, he punched a baby <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> oh, there, there, there's butt crack. Evacuate okay. the premises, but... I, I mean, I, it's just amazing. He's like, all right, y'all get out of here. But you just killed everybody. <laughs> and they were just clones. Clones don't have, you know, feelings. They're, they don't have souls. So, I like how Lex thought this was going to work a second time. Right. Like, he just keep falling for it. And he's like, yeah, no. This is actually the smartest thing I've ever seen Superman do. He just traps him in the box. <laughs> he, just, he just shuts the freaking door. <laughs> like, I'm not going in he there again. He just closes it. Oh, my gosh. And he's like, nope. This fuck your couch. <laughs> This is this is great too. Being, huh? Like like he has one method of doing things, and that's drop shit from high places. <laughs> How are you going to take care of that, Superman? Oh, I'll just drop it from the atmosphere. <laughs> What's your solution for the Israel Palestinian state? I'm going to just drop it from the atmosphere. Everybody that lives there dropped from the atmosphere in a box. <laughs> <laughs> And somehow Lex Luthor will survive that. Well, I mean, he's in a box. You know, if you come out of a box, you're over. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he's flexing. Superman, I've told you many times that I'm not comfortable with the clothes you choose. <laughs> For God's sake, Superman, put on some pants! <laughs> It's just the, the robot switches personalities. Any, anyone want to see my super tan? <laughs> Superman just decides to go the way he is. <laughs> <laughs> no time for pants. <laughs> is that Animal Man? No, that's Superman Sans Draws. <laughs> Where's this is the, cake? This is honestly the dumbest part of the movie coming up. Yeah. 
Like, why are you even... Like, you already know he's invulnerable, and he just took down, like, like the most vicious beast in the universe. Cut it out. <laughs> Stop trying to attack him with tanks. <laughs> so, in the comic book, did he have a solar... Is that why he wore a black yes. suit? Because it was solar-powered? Yeah. He wasn't just gothic? No, no. Um, that was covered by... You know, the edgy part was covered by... Uh, the mullet. Nah. <coughs> I'm a kill I like some- how the robot cheats for him. <laughs> I'ma kill somebody tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it distinctly said do not cross, and they ran right underneath it. <laughs> hey, hey. He's bulletproof! <laughs> He's bulletproof! Evil Superman isn't even going to give them a chance to fire a single shot. This is hilarious. This is insane. We can't kill Superman. You're right. <laughs> I have to ask you to step down. Dark Superman. Awesome. You leave us no choice. If anything, they have the best chance with that giant missile launcher that they have. No, they really don't, though. They don't, but, I mean, out of everything, that would be the best thing to aim at. They don't even get a single shot off, okay? He's just like, and here comes the laser. In theory, though. (laughs) You can't fall back far enough. (laughs) You better fall back to Saturn. Right. Fucking tanks flying in the air. After they've been cut in half. Here comes the aeroplanes. Oh, God. you would be cut in half <laughs> as well. That's a that's billions of dollars just up in smoke, literally. Yeah. Uh, Wasted. <laughs> Get to the chopper. If, if, if the giant missiles on the airplanes don't work... Let's try the guns on the helicopter that shoot bullets. Yeah, and then when that doesn't work, just start stabbing him. Right, yeah. With a bread knife. Screwdriver. (laughs) Stop, you annoying. All right, and here comes Black Superman. Funny enough. Yes, I know this is a real Black Superman. (laughs) The, the, you know. Talking about Michael B. Jordan being the next Superman. Yeah, every, everybody in every race is trying out for Superman. I'm trying out for Superman. <laughs> well, he has a mullet, so he has to rock hard. You know, Superman used to be fat and Jewish. Do what? I <laughs> said, so Superman needs to be played by a fat Jewish guy. <laughs> I'll get you, Superman. Oh, Bubba. <laughs> First, they gotta fucking talk it out. He tried to cheap shot him with the kryptonite gun. It's, it's my one weakness. It's not kosher. <laughs> and Lois is fucking catatonic now as she's standing there amongst a rain of glass. <laughs> right. Uh, what we didn't see was she was actually stabbed in the forehead with a shard of glass. <laughs> and, and we're going to wreck buildings again. Well, why not, right? Uh. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> impact. Of, and she just stands there like Moses. Right. Come on, Jimmy. I have a death wish. Let's go. She didn't wait for him to get in the car. Slam it and drive. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. Let's go. Gosh, the Predator was so much fun. Yes, it was. Oh. How is Superman not blind when shit like that happens? When How? he loses the eye laser fight. Where... Where are they going to drive in Metropolis now? Yeah, really. Is it like every road torn the fuck up? Yeah. Oh, see. 
<laughs> he fucking lands like Spider Man. And then destroys the building taking off. He landed with a, like a feather and then took off like throwing an. Can someone the start the up like a soda company and call it actual like S O E S O D E R soda? Done. <laughs> Taking my life savings and putting it into that idea. We got regular soda. We got diet that soda. soda. <laughs> we got lemon we got lime grape soda. soda. <laughs> grape soda. <laughs> got orange soda. I de- fucking another building. There goes another one. I just, it, I mean, that d- didn't just collapse. That blew up. What were they? Was that a meth lab? <laughs> <laughs> they just turned Metropolis into the fucking downtown Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was missing uh, Bippo. The guy that, like, you know, was Superman's pal other than Jimmy Olsen. <coughs> that wouldn't have left nearly enough time for fighting. True. This is a good movie for fighting. He's going to throw a boat at him. Right? Not j- Oh. <laughs> Wait, stop. Ah! Stop. <laughs> ah! That was the worst catch in the history of catches. <laughs> Man, hammerlock throw. You know, so, Superman what? lost this fight, if I remember correctly. Like, he doesn't win by overpowering him at all. He wins, I think, by manipulation. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it's like the fight just ends, and he's like, "I gotta go to the hospital and pick up my son." You know, Dark Superman's kind of a jerk. Yeah, he is. How did Adam Baldwin record this? I mean, like, did he do two it tracks? He just no. I'm, well, I'm sure there was one track where he read his line, somebody else read the opposite line, and then yeah. they went back and recorded the same, you know, the same way where he read he read his lines, and whoever was going to the whatever. Did there separately? I like to imagine that he did it my way. <laughs> this is two microphones. He just he just kept jumping between them. Yeah. And didn't Lois has the have, kryptonite gun. Yeah, didn't he only have one shot in that? He had one cartridge. That cartridge oh, was okay. good for a few shots. Uh, now we have an oil spill. Yeah, that's the least of Metropolis's problems. Oh, great. We have an oil spill now. And then you're standing in the rubble of every building in Metropolis. And here comes Lowe's to save the day. Where do these reporters learn to shoot? And, and oh. And down goes Frazier. Yeah. an MMA fight here. I know, right? <laughs> crown damn pound. Crown damn pound. I mean, granted, it's a shitty MMA fight, but still. Except for the knees to the head. <laughs> Just wailing on him. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Superman. <laughs> Who's better to, to equip to protect Metropolis? Ah, uh, yes, here we go. This is the end. Who? Huh? Uh, wait. <laughs> Superman's about to murder evil Superman. Sorry, dark Superman. This is much like a Looney Tunes cartoon where the <laughs> guy realizes he's not strong enough to lift what he's lifting. It would be awesome if he pulled out a sign. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. Damn you, Superman. <laughs> uh, uh, you've beaten me. Now I, have, now I have to have a dramatic little, death. Well, he was pulling him down on him. This mm-hmm. did not sit well with me. 
Protect the people. He's like, yes, I know. That's my gig. You did it badly. By the way, there's an old lady that doesn't take care of her cat. Murdered her. <laughs> it's really me, Lois. Check out my long hair. <laughs> I I need proof you're a real Superman. Well, here's my tongue. <laughs> Woo! It'd be great. It just drops trout. <laughs> you like it? I Does have it have a fruit? Right here. Does it have a fruity bouquet? So the black woman that's with the white kid. Uh, is that like a nanny situation? Is yeah, she like, yeah. Is she like a rich kid's Jamaican nanny? I'm not going there. Indistinct cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> and we have... Me South Park. <laughs> and we're back to where we started with people walking out of the shower. And so we've reached the conclusion of our movie. Lois is going to get her happy ending. And she's going to get told... <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna get told <laughs> that Did Superman you is crooked. Say that? Did you just say that? <laughs> Look at it. Happy ending. And don't forget to call your mother. Because nothing sets the mood for some loving like reminding to call your mom. <laughs> That's right. Make sure you call your mother. Oh mother. Call your mother. Now let's do it. <laughs> What? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we can't just go to credits. We have to show. We have to show Lex Luthor, who fucking so, somehow survived with both hands crushed, an eye missing, a cracked <laughs> skull, and a CPAP and, machine. And he's got an iron lung. <laughs> uh, that just looks like my CPAP mask. <laughs> <laughs> like he's plotting there. He's like, it would seem you can't be destroyed, or can you? I can't move out of this bed. I don't know how I missed Anne Hesh being Lois Lane when I was talking about who was playing who. <sighs> but uh, oh, the robot, Tom Kenny as the robot. That's the voice of SpongeBob, isn't it? I don't know. Tom Kenny. Hmm, okay. Um, Adam Wiley Coyote as Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> uh, Vagina Hurts as newscaster. Ah, what? <laughs> and Grumpy Kevin man. Smith is grumpy man. Ooh. All right, that we're done here. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's enough of this foolishness. Everyone go home. All right, so this has been a TV party tonight. Uh, extra commentary for Superman Doomsday. We hope you had a fun time listening to it as we had a fun time talking about it. We'll have to do, uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. Why don't you come yeah, up and see absolutely. me sometime, Ronnie Adams? I will. I will. You, same to you, sir. Wait, All right. what, what just happened? <laughs> Do we have a date now? I guess so. Not a uh, Just an ongoing date. All right, check out our uh, Screaming Boy exclusive. What did we talk about, Ronnie? We talked about the DC, um, the DC Universe app and all its content and streaming and comic book goodies that they have on there. And yeah, that's what we talked about. All right. So for <laughs> for Ronnie Adams, I'm your mandate reporter and frankly I'm mortified, Mr. Mark Rattledge. Uh, check out more TV parties and damn you Hollywood and source material and the Metal Hammer of Doom uh, later on in the month. All right. Have a good night. Be well, be safe, and behave.